Okay. Welcome to the Monday, February the 7th, 2022 meeting of the Montpelier Design Review Committee. I will let members and staff introduce themselves. Meredith Crandall, staff. Martha Smirsky, member. Liz, Liz, Pritchett, Liz Pritchett, member. Uh, Eric Gilbertson, vice chair. And Steve Everett, member. And I will let Meredith review the remote, remote meeting procedures. I can't even say it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I will try and keep this short. Uh, right now, the only person other than DRC members that we have on is our applicant, our loan applicant for tonight. Um, but we may have some people watching via ORCA. You never know. All righty. So for anybody watching via ORCA tonight, um, you can participate in tonight's design review committee meeting via the Zoom platform. You can either use this link here, you can click on it and it should open up the Zoom platform and you'll be able to see anything that we share on our screens as well as participate in the meeting. Um, or you can call in on this phone number, use this meeting ID and you'll be able to hear and speak. Um, and then if you actually turned your volume off on ORCA, you'd still be able to see everything. There just might be a little bit of a time lag. If anyone is having problems accessing the meeting, please email me using this email and I will do my best to get you into the meeting. Um, so this is mostly going to be for Lance, just so you know. Uh, turning on your video is optional. Uh, a reminder to everyone who's on to please keep your microphone on mute and you're not speaking to reduce background noise. Um, and Lance, if you do have any technical difficulties, feel free to um, use the Zoom chat function with me. We try and use the chat just for those kinds of issues and keep anything substantive to um, the, the actual speaking part of Zoom. That way everybody via ORCA can hear what's going on. You got it, Amanda. Thank you. Um, okay, uh, just so that everybody knows, if for some reason I get emails and members of the public are having a hard time accessing the meeting and we can't get them in, then we'll have to continue the meeting to a time and place certain. So far, that has not happened. So, fingers crossed, knock on wood. All right, I'll hand the meeting back over to Steve. Next item on the agenda is the approval of the agenda. Can we hear a motion to approve? So moved, says Eric. I second it, says Martha. All in favor of the agenda, speak your names. Eric. Martha. Liz. Ben. And Steve. So the agenda is approved. The next item is annual election of committee chair. Do I hear any nominations from the members? I nominate Stephen Everett. <laughs> and I second it. <laughs> that, that was too quick for comfort. <laughs> uh, and actually, there is an error. It should be nomination election of the committee chair and vice chair. Do I hear a nomination for vice chair? I nominate Eric for vice chair. I'll I second would. that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So unless there are any objections, do I hear a voice vote by speaking your name for the two appointees? Do you want to do them together, Steve, or separate? We can do them separate. Okay. How about the first nomination for Steve Everett? <laughs> I say yes. This is Martha. Eric says yes. Liz says yes. And Ben says yes. And I guess I... <laughs> <laughs> I can't say, say you can anything. You can decline I've, I've been, or recuse. I've been outvoted anyway, so <laughs> I, I accept. <laughs> and how about approval for the vice chair? Um, I say yes. This is Martha. Say yes, Liz. I also say yes, Ben. And Eric I say, Rick. and Rick I say yes. <laughs> So, Eric, you have been voted as vice chair. Thank you very much. And thank you all for continuing to serve on the committee as well. 
We can now move to the first application for this evening for 707 Stonecutters Way. Owner applicant, FHS Holdings. Is there someone there from FHS to explain your application? First of all, it's nice to see some familiar faces. Uh, hello, Mr. Everett. Hello, Mr. Cheney. Hi, Lance. Hi, Lance. Yeah, it's going to be nice knowing that uh, two people here are going to kind of get a gist of what's going on in the air because you're frequent flyers. Um, first of all, on behalf of Joe Miles and RK Miles, I want to thank you for making the time in your schedules for this proposal. And Merida, thank you very much for making this process pretty easy and enjoyable so far. You're welcome. Um, go ahead. I just said you're welcome. Oh. Oh, did you so can you give a just a brief overview of your oh yes I'm application sorry. i thought i was waiting for a question sorry about oh that. Um, i can i can pull it up well basically we're just proposing some accessory structures placed throughout the yard to simply organize and make our material handlers job much more efficient in turn should, should lance i'm room. having a lot of trouble hearing you is there anybody else yeah. It's kind of echoey. Can you sit closer to your computer? I think there's some background noise too, some paper shuffling and so on. Is everybody muted? It should... That might have been Steve. His microphone was right next to his papers. I moved his microphone away. How's this? Is it better? Yes. Okay, good. Um, we're basically just uh, proposing some accessory structures placed throughout the yard to simply help organize and make our material handler's job much more efficient. In turn, giving us more room and options to use space that was taken by the manually organized material that is currently being used under the building roofs currently. Um, so where I'm moving the hand here on the screen is where there's some rack systems. You can see there's kind of little squares. That's where there's going to be some new rack systems put up. Um, and I, I did a, a site visit with Lance. And most of these locations are places where in the summertime they already have materials outside. Um, and there are pictures in the packet that Lance provided and that you all have that show the rack systems installed in other locations. Um, I don't know if those are other RK Miles locations or if that was material supplied by the um, manufacturer. Um, but, I think it was uh, both, to be honest, Mary. Okay. Lance, if I understand this correctly, the, you'll be, be able to see these structures only from your parking area. Is that correct? Correct. I guess, that, you know, coming in through the entrance of the gate, obviously you're going to oh, see some go? across the yard, but yes, inside the yard only. Yeah. I'm having, uh, just give me a second. I've lost you guys for a second. So I just, I'm, I may have been scrolling too fast. Are you showing something right now, Merida? I am. Are people seeing it? Yes. Hmm. So I'm showing a picture of the rack system. Yeah. Photograph. Mine is a uh, crystal clear audio, even if the lingo isn't Zoom phone. Oh, there we go. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, well, I just did a, I stopped the share screen. I think it was causing problems for you, Lance. Okay. Sorry hey, about that. Go ahead. Is the canopy part of the rack system? It is, yeah. Basically, it's a steel roof truss. Um, with some screw down metal on top of this rack. It's, it's not bolted to the building. It's off the building and bolted into some concrete pads. Thank you. What I apologize about, Meredith, is when obviously when you share your screen, I lose you, but I don't know if uh, 
to get you familiarized with it, there's a building one, building two, and building three. And um, if it helps you or anybody on the board to let you know where L shed one, L shed two, and so on is, I can help you out with that. Uh, but basically, building one and two are going to have uh, you know racks that um, the overhead of the the overhang of the existing building is 22 feet tall. The base to the bottom of the roof of those two buildings is going to be 18 foot 11 with uh, five foot two from front to back, you know, from the base of the rack to the to the back of the column. The only, all of them are basically gonna have the same height and imprint except for building three, which are much shorter. They're gonna be on the same um, concrete pad, but uh, those, um, the existing building overhang is 12 foot tall and from the base to the top of that roof is going to be eight foot seven. Ish. And these are going to be sitting on a concrete base, is that correct? Correct. The space where these uh, proposed racks would be going as you know, Ben and St Steve might know is where we've stacked um, hitches of lumber in the past, um, you know, for you know, overstock and things like that. So basically this is just gonna be using that print of where we put that lumber in a much more organized and safe structure. I see this as a continued industrial use of an industrial site and have no problem with it at all. Just a quick question, Lance, this is Steve. On building number two, is that center bay, which is existing, will that be closed off? It will. We're uh, in hopes of eventually, like I said, this is gonna organize what we've manu manually put inside, but Steve, maybe in future, we're okay. gonna drive in door, well, near L2, but drive, you know, door one, two, and three, we might drive, have a drive through from one to three. Yes. And, uh, just be able to bring in more materials for the customers to choose from. Okay, no, it was, it was just a question. Okay. Does anyone else have anything else to add? Any comments, questions, or suggestions? No. If not, I can go through the criteria. I'm not sure if Lance has a copy of that, but I will read for all projects. Exterior design and materials of new construction or alterations of existing buildings shall be consistent and compatible with the characteristics of the existing building or other properties in the district. That's acceptable. Existing buildings shall be recognized as a physical record of their time, place, and use. That's acceptable. Architectural features, including but not limited to, to cornices, windows, shutters, fan lights, and tablature, trim, and other forms of molding or character defining Detailing prevailing on the existing building should be considered in the alteration. That's acceptable. Yeah. There's a little iffy of whether or not we could call this an alteration, but I know there are times when accessory structures are put up, you're supposed to be looking at whether or not it's hiding features on other buildings. Here it doesn't really matter, but I didn't want to just say that one was not applicable for everybody, which is what I did for most of the criteria for this particular application. So that's, in fact, all the criteria that apply in this particular application. So based on those being acceptable, do I hear a voice vote? Speak your names if you approve of the application. Ben? Eric does. This is, Mar yes. this is Martha. I say yes. Okay. And I say yes as well. So five in favor. So the application is approved and I will let Meredith explain the next step. 
Uh, so Lance, I need to finish up the administrative site plan report for this, and then we'll be able to get the, the permit out the door. Um, do you want us to mail it or do you want us to email you when it's ready and you can you or somebody else can come by and pick it up? We've been having some issues with mail getting delivered lately. Yeah, email's fine, Meredith. Thank you. Okay. Great. Okay. Thank you very much, Lance, for coming to for the meeting and good luck with your project. Again, thanks for the time, board members, and uh um Continue on with your meeting and have fun. Have a great evening. Thanks, Thank Lance. you. Thanks, Bye-bye. The next item on the agenda is to review and approve the meeting minutes from January the 18th. Does anybody have any questions, comments, or suggestions regarding the minutes? This is Martha. I move that to accept the meeting minutes the way they are. Eric, second. <laughs> All in favor, speak your names. Yes. Eric. <laughs> Is this everybody all at once? <laughs> and Steve. So I think that's everyone. <laughs> yeah, I heard Liz. <laughs> Does anyone have anything else to add to our meeting this evening? Not for me. If not, do I hear a move to... to uh, end the meeting. Uh, I'll move that, says Eric. And I'll second it, this is Martha. Okay, all in favor, speak your names. Martha. Liz. Eric. Ben. And Steve, so the meeting is adjourned. Thank you all very much. Thank, Thank you. you. We do have items on the agenda for the next meeting, which is Tuesday, the 22nd. Oh, that didn't get put on here when the next meeting was going to be. That's two of two of us missed that in the planning department. Um, so, yeah, the next meeting is Tuesday, the 22nd, uh, because the 21st is a holiday and City Hall will be closed. And we do have a couple of applications. Hopefully for Langdon Street, we'll be back. Um, and then another one. I want to just say thank you to Steve and to Eric for continuing to serve. Thank you very much.